the commentary done by Diggity. This is going to be game two between Tucson and Exit, part of BSL season six. Season Getting ahead of myself. Season 14, round of 16. Group C, this is going to be on butter, upper right corner. We have Exit starting as the blue turn, bottom right corner. We have Tucson starting as the red turn, and Tucson, again, showing why he's such a strong competitor in TVT. He just seems to have, like, the creative next level stuff going on. I can't remember the last time I saw Wraith. And I think that was just the perfect strategy for Turbine. This time this is Butter, which is a map we've seen in ASL. Makes really, really fun matches. You've got the... I gotta click on the Kakuru. It's hallucinated and will not be long for life. It's kind of cruel of the map makers to put them in here. And it's like, you will survive to wander the map momentarily for my enjoyment and my enjoyment only. And then you will vanish in a puff of blue smoke. Because you are just a hallucination, much like we are upon the Earth. There it goes. Anyway, natural expansion. <laughs> right there. Uh, the, I think the most interesting thing about Butter is that you have this nearby third, but it, it's expanding into your opponent. So oftentimes you do want to opt for this, but this is a lot of territory to cover. And you can see where you have like the lower ramp over here. So having... Honestly, I'm wondering if this is just one of those maps that calls for earlier factories. And oftentimes the player that wins the map, regardless of matchup, is the one that has map control and therefore can utilize these bases out at the nine o'clock position. Exit doing something sneaky. He's got an maybe sneaky. He's got an SCV going for a very, very long scouting path. I'm wondering if he's just not, is this not familiar? Is he gonna set up? There we go. Setting up a barracks at a far distance. Also grabbing a refinery behind this. I don't know if this is proxy or not. It is possible he just wants to produce a Marine or two at a forward location, or just get that barracks floating into his opponent's base a little bit earlier than usual. Or maybe he just wants to play, ha ha ha, I got hit in tech. Tucson doesn't see it. Just misses it. Exit sending out his own SEV scouting across, having kind of an unusual scouting pattern. So Tucson, despite being diligent, doesn't find it. What he is going to find is his a lack of a barracks and three SCV mining gas. He, in the meantime, has that forward barracks. The play depot up to the north. Only one SCV on gas, so he's planning on going for a natural expansion. So SCV wandering out. We do see the first marine being produced. A factory being produced at the proxy location. I gotta assume Tucson realizes what's happening. Because he sees the three SCV. No factory, no barracks. So where's the bunker? Or is he going to go for a bunker? There's the factory. Second Marine produ being produced. The SCV also trying to attack this, so Tucson has to know that there's aggression. First Marine wandering in, but he's going up against inferior numbers right now. That is, until he gets support of either the additional Marines or the Vultures on the front. And honestly, with the timing of this, Tucson should have plenty to go ahead and defend his front. Second factory being built inside exit space. Tucson moving up with the additional scouts. And now Tucson's still setting up to go ahead and grab his natural expansion. Perhaps realizing that he's going to be A-OK -okay in defending this. So Vulture sees the second factory. Has to know the second factory's there. He's also going to spot this factory here with the barracks. And so yeah, if he just... See if he gets a bunker or not. He's starting to attack forward. And actually has superior troops as far as this engagement goes to go ahead and push this back. Exit having some trouble microing overall. Now it's just one vulture versus a vulture and three marines. So he's going to get pushed back from the front. SCV fighting SCV in the upper left-hand corner as well. Don't want to miss. We're going to have pause and everything else. I just want to see these SCV fight it out where the real battle's happening. A vulture trying to sneak by, not able to. Now Tucson with a sudden death grip on this match. So the bunker, sorry, the bunker's there. The barracks is going to land. That's going to seal the front. The vulture's going to wander out. Might even be able to take out this factory. Two factories are up for exit. But he's nowhere near being able to take a natural expansion. An armory to the corner. So he's going to start producing Goliaths out of this. And maybe try to shove his way in from there. But without some group repair. It's not going to happen. In the meantime, Tucson getting his second factory up. He's already got a machine shop. Can go ahead and get a siege tank. Potentially, he's also got his command center being built. So he has defended this. Exit a ways away. 
the cheese would have been clever against I'm honestly I'm not sure how the cheese would have executed it this way on a two-player map vulture in the corner looking to slide by as troops meander out realizing that all of these troops are out of position so this could be I mean this was already kind of a bad situation but this could be the killing blow right here that vulture wandering in two vultures a goliath there's gonna be two goliaths two vultures trying to breach this but as long as SCVs pull off the line and repair that bunker, I don't think it's going to happen. And now this vulture has meandered into... Just kind of sauntered. This is the gentleman pirate. Briefly there. Takes out a couple SCVs. Gets wiped out. Surprise! SCV there, there to help with the repair, but Tucson... Yeah, he's going to have that natural up in no time two factories siege tanks coming along the way with siege tech and goliaths do not trade well against siege tanks exit also building a drop ship this is some next level attempts at this building a drop ship at that inside three o'clock location so he's going to try to drop four goliaths here but unfortunately for him there's going to be siege tanks and siege tech to go ahead and deal with that fairly easily so unless this drop is magical which I don't see happening Tucson starting to walk away with this match or has walked away with this match Goliath pinning to the front door now landing a Goliath out here tank sieging and drop and I wouldn't be shocked upon the first siege tank hit no exit still going to try to fight it out funneling more troops in was just hoping he'd have a superior troop count to be able to overwhelm this that way, but easily cleaned up. SEVs dropping, exit GGing there. Moving on to the loser's bracket, Tucson advancing to the winner's bracket. See if there's a potential rematch in the final match. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.